Merry Christmas and good morning. About 10 seconds after I turned the camera off last night, it started raining. <laughs> and it hasn't stopped since. And it's been rain. It hasn't been freezing rain. It hasn't been sleet. It hasn't been snow. It's just rained. So I think that pretty much means I'm not camping tonight. I'm going to... Uh, I, don't, I think I'm going to do the same thing with the Black Forest Trail. I'm just going to pack up, eat some of my snacks, and just start heading towards the car. There's still some snow out there, but it's probably like 35 degrees. It's cold. It's going to be wet and miserable. Ugh. Not a fun day. Well, I took, took a gamble. Open it with snow. <laughs> oh, well. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit longer, stay warm before I break down. It looks brighter out. The camera's making it look brighter out than it is. I still got about 20 minutes or so before the sun actually rises. So once it gets a little brighter, I'll start packing down and head out. rain has let up a little bit and a lot of the ice that was out here has melted it's warmed up slightly a little foggy but i'm gonna get broken down and get on the trail it's 8 20 now um i waited for rain to let up uh, i'm gonna be wet when i get back to the car i can feel it Hopefully, the rain stays light like this while I hike out. I'm going to make a decision, I guess depending on how the what the rain looks like, when I get up to the forest road, on which way I go. I can either just hop on the forest road, go back out the main road and go to the car, or I can kind of um, go up the forest road take that road a little bit, go up a trail back up to that stone uh, lookout and then go back out the trail and avoid the road walk. Well, at least the forest road hike and I still got a three quarter mile road hike. So we'll see. Ho, ho, ho. Holy crap, it's wet. It is about two minutes after nine. Camp is all broken down. I ate one of my cold lunches for breakfast. Um, I had extras, so I'm good. Check the weather. And uh, looks like the rain's going to let up for a little while. Between now and like noon or so. Might get a couple little showers in between. But I'm okay with that. That gives me time to get up to the uh, up to the road back out to the car now I've kind of even if the weather changes I think I've um, shortened the trip enough my tarp is soaking wet so I just like jammed it into <laughs> my camp chair bag with the camp chair so that's all wet I think even if the weather turns I'm not camping tonight not without going home and changing all my gear. <laughs> but got my trekking poles because I kind of expect this is going to be a little bit mushy and hard to navigate and slippery with the snow and the rain. But it is a little foggy and I, I don't mind hiking in the fog. So I guess that's a positive. Yeah, look, how, look how muddy this is. I am glad I've got my waterproof socks and boots on because if it wasn't muddy last night before it rained, 
It is now. did hear a lot of coyotes last night. I heard probably at least two different packs of coyotes, maybe three. Um, two of them sounded to be pretty close, like directly behind me. And then another group was out this way. So it could have been three different packs or two different packs, or one really fast pack. But I didn't hear any owls or anything. I did hear, I don't know what it was, about 7.30 or so, quarter to eight, I was sitting in a hammock. Oh my God, it's so slippery. And, uh, all right, I'm gonna stop, tell a story, and I'm gonna get my hands free. Um, something on the other side of the creek made like a wee. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Could have been a deer, could have been a rabbit, could have been a couple different things, but. I only made one noise and that was it. All right, I'm gonna use my poles here because this is this is just messy. Looks like deer track right there. Yeah, it looks like deer track right there. All right, concentrate on getting moving here. I'm glad I decided to grab the poles. They've saved my bacon a couple times already. I've only gone about a mile. And this is just slush. There's some spots where I'm just slipping and sliding. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. The rain. It's picking up. I think I do this, there might be something wrong with me. I think I do this on purpose. It seems like every trip I've taken recently, aside from the Grand Canyon, because that it was perfect weather, has been like heavy rain or snow and sleet or high winds, super high humidity and heat. Like I always do this to myself, glutton for punishment. In weather like this, the thing that sucks is breaking down because everything's cold and it's really hard to break down with gloves on. So you're handling everything with your hands. It's pulling all the heat out of your hands. Now I'm cold. Well, not really cold, but cold as far as moving cold. I'm warming up now. So this is the, that first half mile or so trying to get going is rough, especially when you don't have a hot breakfast and like coffee or anything like that. Type 2 fun. Right, DP? Oh, that keeps happening because the crown's soft, my poles are getting stuck. The first time I hiked through here, I came through here with Rocco, and he was ahead of me. We get this spot, and there's a. He's like, oh no. He's like, we just find somebody. And there was a sleeping bag leaned up against this tree, like slumped up against it. And we're like, oh crap. We come up. No, somebody just left their sleeping bag there. 
they had a ridge line going across. I don't know if they had a tarp or something hanging there, but like right across the trail. If we didn't see it, we were paying attention. We would literally clothesline ourselves in it. Well, campsite. You could sneak a hammock in there if you had to. Right by uh, the creek here. Still along Choke Creek. We got a little bit longer to go. We head down here just a little bit. And then we'll turn, follow it up to like an old beaver pond. And then we'll split off of uh, the creek itself and head back up to the, the road. Still got ways to go yet. Little bit swampy. Luckily, there's still enough ice that it's not too bad getting through some of it. Oh, that one I sunk in. <laughs> Waterproof boots for the wind. So I just stopped to have myself a nice quick snack. Um, the woman at work knows I like dark chocolate and I hike a lot. So she gave me this uh, little bag of um, like dark chocolate covered blueberries and uh, how do you pronounce them? Hikaya. Asia berries. Um, man, were they good. And those Asia berries and blueberries are both really, I don't know if they're considered superfoods, but I know they're they're really good. They got a lot of antioxidants and a lot of good stuff for you. Man, that, that woke me right up. That immediately improved my mood. I've been trying to carry better snacks with me. Instead of just cliff bars. Um, I also have a bag of, they're like honey mustard flavored pre-shelled uh, pistachios. Oh my God, are they good. I think they're just store brand too. I don't think they're like anything fancy, but I got those. I'm like, oh, I like pistachios and no shells. That's they're easy to eat on a trail. Oh, oh, they're so good. So good. So good. So between those and the, uh, is blueberries and the sea of berries. Pet me right up. Improved my spirits dramatically. The rain is kind of darting in and out. It rains hard for a second, it stops and it rains and it stops. But no matter, this is one of the reasons why I love coming to Pinchot, and I, I feel so fortunate to have this place so close to home. Just look at how beautiful this is. Like this is just a gorgeous area. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. It's beautiful in, in like the snow, like this, even in the rain. In the summer with all the leaves, it's beautiful. In the fall, it's gorgeous. Spring when everything's just new and green and everything's just coming to life, it's gorgeous. This little section of the forest is absolutely, it's, if this wasn't here, I may have gone insane by now, living where I live. I mean, it's a small town, but I'm ready not to be in a small town anymore. I'm ready to be back out in the country. This just gives me 
being able to come out here whenever I really want gives me just that break I need. And when you do it on a dreary Christmas day, uh, you don't see a lot of people out here. <laughs> Saw three people, all told. Heard heard one other person, but I didn't see him. He, was, he had his dog right off the trail. So I think right now I'm at the start of... Uh, uh, some people call it the jug handle, I call it the elephant ear. It's just, actually it's right up here. Where it, if it went straight through, it would only go about maybe a quarter mile. But it takes like a mile and a half detour to get around. I don't know what's down there, if it's a swamp or if there's something. For some reason, they went around it. You can't really see from Google Maps what's in there. But they avoided something. The rain has held off up until about two minutes ago. It start raining again. Um, so this is where the Pinchot Trail and the Choke Creek Nature Trail split off. This is a new reroute. And I know most of that is pretty decent, but the last like mile of it, even when it's dry out, is a swamp. So I'm not gonna do that. All these options I'm taking take me to basically the same spot. That takes me up to the main road. Uh, this takes me out to the forest road, which then takes me out to the main road. Or I can get on, uh, go back up to Stone Mountain. It's gonna depend, Stone Mountain, uh, Stone Tower, or Stone Lookout. Depends on which way you're going, which what it's called. Uh, I go back up there and then follow the pin show um, back out the way I came in. Uh, just connect the loop down here. It's gonna depend on what the road looks like. And if it seems like uh, the, the rain is getting lighter. So if the rain seems like it's going to pick up, I might just take the road out, make it quick. Uh, but if the road's real sloppy, like I'm expecting it to be, um, I might just take the other trail. We'll see. We'll get out there in a minute and assess the situation once I see it. So this is the end, well, this is the end of the trail trail of Cho Creek Nature Trail. It actually turns and goes down to where we came yesterday, down that way. But I'm gonna go this way, and this road looks like a mess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna suck. I will stay off. In the gravelly spots as much as possible. I know I've got that like three quarter mile main road road hike. Not crazy about adding like two miles of this to it. So I might just go up here to where the stone tower trail cuts off and then just follow the, the trail back down in the woods. Easier on my feet.
almost the turn off. Should be it right here. How's my hat look? It's all wet, it won't stay on right. You wanna take my hood on and off. My ear's getting cold. Good enough. No, this is not the turn off. Okay, a little bit further. Okay, a few seconds down the road and I'm at the turn off. I was contemplating just staying on the road because it's a little bit straighter shot. But then that's what happened on the road. Um, yeah, I don't want to walk on, jeez, I don't want to walk on that for like two miles. I will take the trail. And the rain is picking up. This will get me underneath the trees a little bit. So, stone tower this way. Oh, I think I'm getting into the, the heavy rain now. I haven't pulled a radar or anything like that, but last time I looked at the weather, it looked like it was going to stop for a while, and then it was going to get heavy again for a while before it stops a little later on. I don't care now. I know I'm going back to the car. As long as I can keep my body temperature up, which isn't a problem when I'm moving, I'm not too concerned about being wet. I have the Jeep. Jeeps have Jeep heat. Jeep heat, you can cook a turkey in. I'm not worried about that. So, up the hill to Stone Tower, and then back to the Pincho. Now, I don't think this is a trail unless someone blazed this themselves. But there's ribbons tied on here. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20 trees. I can see just in this little group that are marked. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know why these are all marked. Maybe we're gonna do a deer exclosure up here. That's why they marked them. I guess that could be. That's just where the color. Look at all the blazes on the trees. It's not a trail. Right, it's one drunk ass trail. Oh, they're way back there. Blazes up here, ribbons tied on. Hmm. I mean, this is an active forest, which means they do foresting here. So maybe, I know some of these look like they might be ash trees, but not all of them. Maybe they're treating them for those emerald ash borers. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Made it back up to the top. The tower is over there. This is where I came up yesterday. Came up this way. I went straight through. So I'm gonna go back down that way. It's a little bit of a go back to go forward kind of deal to do this. But this section here will be Probably the sketchiest part with the snow and the ice. So I gotta go down these rocks. And I know the GoPro does not show how steep this whole section is, but it's it's pretty steep. I watched a clip last night. I was in the hammock where I came up yesterday and I was showing the camera. And look, this looks like this looks like what that looks like over there. But it just drops off and it's all rocks. So hopefully. There's less snow on the rocks today because of the rain. It won't be so ha hard. But that's really the only spot. Let's get down that. It's pretty flat for the rest of the way. And it kind of sucks. I got to come all the way up this. Just go right back down. But it has a little challenge for the day. And it's better than like three miles of road hike, two or three miles of road hike. That, that dirt road was getting really really icy there there's more traffic in that area from stone tower out to the road a lot of people come down here and they park so that gets packed down a lot more so it was a lot icier and here we go start making my way down we'll need both my hands and poles for this 
So that doesn't look so bad with the GoPro. I don't know if me being in frame gives it any more uh, scale. But I mean, I only came about uh, maybe 50 feet of trail feet and you had to you side wind down and it drops a good 15, 20 feet right there. And then from here, it just like right there, it just drops off again. So far, not too bad though. Ta-da, just like that. I'm down. Don't know if that makes it look any steeper. It was a little slick. Not too bad though. And I only see one set of footprints coming through here. And those would be mine from yesterday, so no one else is out in this section of trail all day. So one of our world famous Pennsylvania rock gardens here. I deal with this for a little while and then uh, we get out to an old forest road, an old, old forest road, which is going to be swampy, but oh well. But then once we get past this, that is pretty much it for the rocks. Some of these are slick. Coyotes must uh, hang out here. Maybe they bed down in this area. Or they use this as a hunting ground. As soon as I came to the clearing, I heard one coyote and he wasn't that far away. He just made a real kind of stealthy kind of call. Like, hey, someone's coming. Good weather for coyotes to be out. I don't know if I mentioned this on my way in yesterday. I might have just recorded this and not said anything. This is like one of my favorite sections along this part of the trail. These uh, blueberry fields, the trail just cutting through. In the fall, these are all red and green. And you got these scrub oaks in here. It's really cool. The yellow on the birches green of the pines beautiful little spot you got this trees out there they look awesome in the fog the rain has stopped I'm okay with that I don't want to say anything the sky looks like it's trying to brighten up a little bit. Maybe this is the break in the weather before the rain picks up they were talking about. I don't know. Or maybe the storm's just petering out. Time will tell. But I don't have too much further to the car. Maybe a mile and a half maybe? Something like that. Maybe two miles at the outside. I can hear the main road out there. So, I know I'm getting close to civilization again.
it's that time of the trip. The time where it's, you're sad the trip's over, but you're glad the trip's over. I can't wait to get this pack off my back. I packed it in a hurry this morning. It's not sitting right. My shoulders are shot. That road hike sucked. That's only three quarters of a mile. A lot less snow here than there was when I got here yesterday. Total is going to be somewhere around 16 miles, I think, for the two days. A uh, slow, slow six miles, six and a half miles today because of the trail conditions. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but even though the weather was bleak today, it was an awesome hike. Always awesome to get out for Christmas Eve and get these hikes in. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And who knows where I'll be next Christmas. Try to plan something, but I'm gonna get my stuff in the Jeep. I'm gonna get my other shoes on. And I'm gonna get some food because I am hungry. See you in the next. <laughs>